gonna repair uh, Mako's tire. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Maybe Ziggy's DD Darkest Dungeon Sigmus has finally managed to spread through the gate this time. Oh, what the fuck? The Reaper's already here. the defenses seal the station the arms aren't moving systems not responding abandon the citadel evacuate the council citadel control citadel control do you copy holy shit is that because i was too slow I thought that was a whole bunch of reapers. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. sound increase. No idea why. Sorry guys. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. I think we're done here. Ty, I don't think you should be scratching around with this place. ships inside the arms.
Burns, lock the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. of a building.
It's over now. Krogan's are vulnerable to poison bullets, really? Oh my god. They wouldn't be. secured. What's your name from now on? Isn't that Nova? <sighs> this is intense. The sniper rifle does more damage if I yell boom headshot each time I fire. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Boom headshot. <laughs> I don't want to yell, it's way too early in the morning. Can I just say it? Boom headshot. It's much more stable if you crouch. survived. 
<laughs> see, he totally died. <laughs> Hi, Pig Leap, by the way. Didn't see you sneak in. Okay, you guys yell it for me. And I'll I'll do a mental every time I get a headshot or every time they die, since headshots don't seem to really be a thing. No, it turned red. Foreshadowing. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Does he have tubes sticking in his stomach and leg that have just been like... It looks like it. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel Arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. 
What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Oh, what? Save the council, let the council draw, die, or say concentrate on sovereign. Is that three different options, or are there two options here? <laughs> yeah, I think it might be too nice for multiple choice gaming. How long did we take deciding between Ashley and Caden? <clears throat> Okay, so there's two options. Either save them or let them die and spare some humans. So why exactly is there that option? Could someone ex like, I don't get, if a fleet comes in, they can save the council. But does that, how does that kill more people? I don't get it. If I save the council, does that mean that Sovereign might get away? I, I, I don't understand what they were just explaining to me. If the fleet comes in now, you get heavy casualties. Why heavy casualties? Is it because they're blasting in through the doors or something? Comes in later, you get less casualties but lose the council. Shit, now I wish I knew more about the council. Like, how hard it is for them to be replaced. You get more casualties because Sovereign Fogface is still strong. Fogface? Arseface? <laughs> Let's go with Fogface. You reckon the council does a lot more for the galaxy than we... than we... uh... realize? <clears throat> okay, so here's my thinking. I'm kind of pissed that they took so long to listen to me. Like, they didn't listen, they didn't listen, they didn't listen. And now they're kind of paying for it, aren't they? Um, on the other hand, they did do things quite logically, I suppose. But do we want people who use... <laughs> you have to ask yourself, not what the council can do for you, but what you can do with the council. How hard is it to replace a government? Not that hard, the US moved <laughs> a few hundred years ago. Um, pay with their lives? Yeah, it's rough, but I'm thinking, you know, are three council members more important than the mass amount of casualties that Sovereign will inflict? Let's think about the people for a moment here. Please, do this for the Asari and every life form that stands in their way. Do the right thing, the Asari. Put the council in the blender and see if they blend. <laughs> okay, so let's think about the people. The people who may... Who will die if we save the council. Who have we met so far? Uh, we've met the owner of... Wait, he's dead. Why is everyone still talking about Fist? Fist is dead. I'm not listening to you guys. I mean, I, I wanted to understand the situation. Thanks for that, Dwarf. But I, I'm talking out my reasoning here. We've met a creepy, um, creepy dude who wanted our signature and was being all fanatical. We've met some politicians. We've met a drug addict. Drug addict. Um, we 
we've met the sister who's in over her head trying to spy for C sec. C sec. The shop owners, the ambassadors. 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 Uh, I wonder how much information is outside of the council, so if we don't save the council. Will they be like, oh, Shepard killed us all with this sh alien ship that was chasing her? Or, you know, will things be smoother afterwards if the council is back? No, no. We, we've gone into a state of zen uh, meditation. Has anyone here seen that, um, what's Mega Mind? Me uh, you know the one with the funny guy and then Brad Pitt and then the like the hero character is like I took some time to think and it's him moving really fast like Superman but it's like he takes about a month to consider what he wants in his time and then only like two seconds not even two seconds have passed in our time <laughs> Yes, the whole universe does stop while I'm thinking. Save the drug addict! I feel like... Megamind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, faced with a difficult choice, Shepard had only seconds to make a decision. Consequently, she spent minutes in quiet contemplation. <laughs> Time isn't ticking. I am trying to think of who's gonna die. <laughs> the universe does revolve around me. I think in the grander scheme of things we might need to save the council. It's a little bit of a selfish thing because then they'll always, you know, and they'll be like, oh, humanity did so well, though do we want humanity to have such a big part in, you know, what is it, the alliance, or no, the alliance is what the human side of it's called. I'm gonna save the council. Yeah, but I could save a lot of people. It's human soldiers that never that are never on screen versus council members who actually do show up. I don't know if it's human soldiers soldiers, I feel like it's the people in like the the wards and everything. Save council, thus killing alliance ships, but alliance sacrifice gets them more uh, enlistment to replace them. I didn't mean soldiers aren't people, I mean just people in the wards, you know, like not soldiers. Just uh, civilians. Oh wow, that's that's heavy, Dreamwalker. Death of one is a tragedy, death of millions is a statistic. It does get to that point, doesn't it, where we just we can't comprehend it anymore. Uh Civilians are not included in this choice. Um human ships coming and dying. Well, it's, I suppose in that respect we'll be earning our seat on the council, earning our place.
<laughs> Death of Free is a tragedy because the space races win. Um, kill, kill, kill. I'm going to save the council. This is a really tough choice. Um, but I feel like soldiers... If it is soldiers, they're, they're more... Uh, I suppose accepting of their duty, I guess? I always thought of human ships as being filled with red shirts. We saw the Torians um, attack, Turians, Torians attacking as well. Um, and I hope they will take this lesson forwards with them. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Just like Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Leave <laughs> the computer on and come back tomorrow. opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. Be careful. Yep. Seems pretty dead. He's dead.
Corbett's too strong. We have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Shields disabled. Shields are down. Now's our chance. Hit it with everything we got. Why don't we see the Hard on team? my flank. Okay. We're going in. Joker MVP? Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. 
We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <sighs> Why on earth would you support Udina? <laughs> Look at them both looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I have to go with Anderson because he got shot for me, and he believed in us all the way. I just, I, why would anyone pick Udina, ever? <laughs> I kind of want to to know what happens. <laughs> before leave computer and let's all return tomorrow. So Odina then? Everyone's everyone's agreed that Odina is the uh the right choice here. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. You trying to make me blush, Shepard? Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'm not begging you. That's the point. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. <laughs>